Last week, Bob Hazlitt was sharing about the number 11. The conference was called 11. And it was, he was talking about 11 is about a transition. Well, we're in my 11th year here at Grace Church. And on, the, on, on April 4, 2004, will be year 12. And he's talked about crossing into the promised land. I believe 2015 was a year of acceleration for us. Amen. You can't explain what God did here in 2015. Only God could do something like that. But I believe 2016 is a year of activation in his authority. I mean, you have seen the testimonies up here. It's not about them anymore. It's about releasing what God is doing in them to others. That's a sign of activation. And God is doing something extraordinary that we can't explain. And during worship, the Lord took me back to almost 12 years ago when Gloria and I, I were at this last ministry. And we were battling inside whether or not we were to come to this place because the history here was not good for pastors. They ran them off about every two or three years. And it was a dead church. It was, there was no life. And we came and spoke here one time in September of 2003, because they were looking for a pastor for a year. So I spoke and I was glad to get out of here. And they asked me, would you put a resume in? I said, I'll pray about it. <laughs> Knowing good and well, there was no way. I prayed about it, and they called me in October. Will you please put the resume in? <laughs> so I'm still praying about it. <laughs> they called me in November. I was still praying about it. <laughs> then in December... 2003 had three people from this church call me and say please put a resume in I hadn't done one in 20 something years I was not wanting to leave that ministry it was a comfort zone for me there were two influences well three influences in my life one was Peter Rummel he was giving me counsel because I was in my 40s he gave me some wise counsel. The next one was I was reading the book, The Dream Giver. How many of you have ever read The Dream Giver? If you haven't, get it. Because some of you might be going through that. That book was an eye opener. It's, it's like the Prayer of Jabez book. It's a very thin one. Get Dream Giver. That book. And then we went to a prophetic conference or a conference in London and two guys I wasn't familiar with prophesying and two guys prophesied over glory of me and they told us we're getting ready to step into new territory during that time I was seeking counsel from my pastor and the administrator from that church and they said you're crazy if you go to that place they were trying to stop me because Humanly speaking, they knew the history. But God spoke. And God has done what we are seeing today. <laughs> Had I said no, yes, this church might still be what it is today because he might have just raised someone else up to do it. God is calling you. Don't say no. Don't say no to what he's doing right now in your life. It might be scary. You're thinking, how in the world am I going to make this? He will make a way. 